everybody, it's the Uncle Dan here, and Marvel just released another Infinity War trailer. So you guys know what that means, right? Oh, it means it's time to break down this bitch piece by piece. Alright, everyone, here we go. Okay, so already, 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 like, first five seconds, like, not even, like, five seconds in, already, what the fuck is this? It looks like some sort of giant-ass meteor thing descending on New York. So, maybe this is how Thanos comes about. Like, maybe this is how, like, Thanos shows up in, on Earth. Or maybe this is how Thanos' you know, army shows up on Earth. Maybe how this is where Thanos' followers, like, come Like, somehow we know that that thing is bad. This is a no-goody. This is, this is just carrying, this is carrying a nope. This just here, this is carrying a nope. I know that. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. Already? Okay, so apparently Bruce Banner, war okay, so War Machine's already, like, you know, he's already healed, or at least has some sort of implants, or some sort of cybernetics within him that makes him walk, because the last time we saw him, he was paralyzed, like, the vision shot through him, well, basically not, not through him, he just shot at him, basically making him paralyzed, and Tony Stark was trying to help rebuild, like, trying to make him walk again, and last time we saw him was the end of Civil War, when he was like, taking physical therapy, trying to walk again with with a device that Tony Stark made. So, maybe this show, maybe, like, he completed it. Maybe, like, he completed the device, he's able to walk again, but maybe only in the suit. Pro probably not, but maybe, like, he can only walk in the suit. Like, the rest of the time, he's paralyzed, but maybe only when he's in the, in the War Machine suit, he's able to walk. And, of course, Scarlet Witch and Bruce Banner kind of, like, meet up again. That would be a really awkward com because the last time Scarlet... Not Scarlet, I mean, no, not Scarlet, I don't know. I mean, Black Widow. I always, like, for some reason, I always get those two mixed up when I talk about them. Like, it's really weird. But somehow, Black Widow and, Bru and Bruce Banner, they're going to have a very long conversation. Because last time, like, we saw them, you know, Bruce Banner was he lost himself into space, and, Scar and Black Widow was like... You know, d like, where are you going? Like, where, where the hell is Bruce? And, you know, if you watch Thor Ragnarok, you kind of know what happened with um, Hulk and all that. If you keep up, if you kept up with, like, Civil War and all that, you kind of knew what happened with uh, Scar uh, Black Widow. So, you know, here it doesn't seem anything special. Maybe they're, like, on a platform in Wakanda. Maybe they're in something else. Not, nothing, there's not a lot of information, like, around the platform itself that tell us where they are. But if I had to take a guess, probably Wakanda. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the infinity stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Okay, so here, it kind of, it probably not, it's probably not what's going on here, because I think Gamora is kind of having a conversation with Tony Stark. It's probably not what's going on, considering the fact that these two backgrounds are kind of like different. Like, the Gamora is kind of like in a spaceshipy like background, while Tony Stark he's probably like you know looks to be like in a normal you know probably in Doctor Strange's house. So maybe you know Doc, he maybe having a conversation with Doctor Strange, and maybe Gamora is trying maybe like talking more about Thanos to the Guardians. Probably not. It'd be really cool if, if Gamora is talking to Tony Stark. It'd be really cool, but it's probably just like another use of like trailer trickery to make us believe that they're actually having a conversation, even though they're most likely not. Thanos. Already, already, like, we see his legendary helmet. Look at that, look at that. We have his helmet. I don't know why the fuck he's taking it off. Because, no offense, but I really don't like Thanos' bald head. I really don't like his bald, ugly head. Like, I like him with his helmet. I'm like, why was he keep the helmet? Look at that. If you if rewind, it looks a lot better. Look at this. Oh, my helmet. I need to put it on. Oh, I'm a badass now. But, like, I really don't like the fact that he's, like, bald. And mo like, most of the time we see him, he's bald. He doesn't have his iconic, you know, I'm about to fuck you up helmet. Which I really, I'm really sad about that, really. All right, so here, like, we see Spider-Man kind of like, all right, if you don't get like a good shot of where he's taking it out of, but he, it, kind of, it seems like he always has his mask on just in case. Now it looks like it looks like he doesn't actually have the suit. It looks like he has his web slingers. He has his mask. He has his mask. He has the web slingers, like ready to go. So maybe he always keep, like Spider-Man keeps those always on handy just in case shit gets real. Like he doesn't have this full costume, but at least he has his web slingers. Web slingers, and he has his mask. So here, like we saw in the other trailer before, here, like this is probably where Peter Parker first, like you know, encounters anything related to Thanos. 
Because we see him looking at the look at looking out the window of the bus. You know, sparks is tingling. He sees a giant. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. But he sees a giant. What do you call that thing? Outside, and maybe this is him reacting to it. He's like, "Well, what the hell that thing? I need to go Spider Man. I need to like find out what the hell that thing is." We got one advantage. He's coming to us. All right, so that is actually another cool feature of Tony Stark's or Iron Man suit. Look at. If you can take it like really slowly, you can see how it's kind of like formulating into something like like a rocket boost. So maybe, maybe it's like his space like you know his space no suit, like the suit that he uses to go to space and all that. Because before, it kind of like it's kind of like he doesn't really need this much power to like freaking fly anywhere. Like his normal boosts would do a trick. So the only reason why I can think of him using like an extra booster to like launch himself, probably him launching himself into space. So which we know that they're probably gonna be going to the Guardians of the Galaxy are gonna be are gonna be involved. You know that they're gonna go into space sometime. Like at some point in the movie, they're gonna go to space. So maybe this is it. Maybe Tony Stark is with them. And what the fuck is this thing right here? Like, where, where my mouse? No, where there is? What the hell is this thing here? Like, what is Tony Stark's? Like, what is he following? Like, what he's trying to get? It looks like the giant donut thing. If I, if like, like if you slow it down by like two frames, like literally two frames, you can see a little gap here, and it looks like the donut. It looks like the giant donut thing that's here. So maybe some point that thing launches out of the sky and just launches up, and Tony Stark tries to follow it to find out what the fuck it is. Maybe it's a portal. Like, maybe like this, maybe the giant donut thing, maybe that's a portal or something. Like, that's how Thanos comes to Earth. Maybe, like, he doesn't have, like, a spaceship or anything like that. Maybe this is how he comes to Earth, by this portal, and Tony Stark is chasing after it. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we we'll use. Okay, so that's basically, I, at first, I thought Vision was going to be, like, the first, like, person to die. But I still think he, I think I still think he's good. I really think he's gonna die because he still has the Infinity Stone in his head, and we saw in the last trailer how like you know Thanos' followers how they were like trying to pry like his army was trying to pry the like the stone from his head. So maybe like this is the maybe like this is the scene where he realizes Thanos is gonna need this and he's gonna be coming for him. Maybe they don't realize it yet. Like maybe they don't know anything about the Infinity Stones because we see here with Doctor Strange having the Time Stone. Like, he still has the Time Stone in it, so maybe Thanos, you know, maybe Thanos is definitely going to be coming for the Time Stone. So, you know, he's definitely going to be going to Doctor Strange. You see that he's def he definitely is going to go for Vision, and maybe this is when Vision realizes this is what Thanos wants. This is, like, what he's after. And maybe, like, he's come to realization, like, Thanos is too strong by himself. Maybe they're not going to be able to strong enough to stop Thanos. Thanos is going to get the stone, and he's going to kill me. And maybe that's the, like, kind of, like, a strong realization that he's having. And that's why he looks at Scarlet, like, Scarlet Witch looks all frightened and scared. And Vision's like, you know, I'm scared. Given the look, like, I'm scared too, but this is going to happen. We is. Yeah, so, right here, like, we see them coming to Wakanda. So we know, spoiler alert, if you ever watched Black Panther, if you didn't watch Black Panther yet, two things. One, why haven't you seen it yet? And two, sp go see it. It's really cool. So, spoiler alert for the end of Black Panther, T'Challa kind of opens up Wakanda. He kind of, like, you know, makes it more public. You know, before, Wakanda was kind of like a secret enclosed area. Like, you know, it was secret from the outside world. But at the end of Black Panther, he kind of opens it up a little bit. He kind of, like, opens it up a little bit. And we see, we see a little bit of that here, how he's greeting Captain America and Scar... Captain, Captain America, Black Widow, Rhodey, um... Falcon, and also Bruce Banner, and also Vision, looking back around, Vision and Scarlet Witch. So we know this kind of open, and I think I kind of busted my own theory here, because before, like, literally early in the video, I said that maybe the only reason, you know, Brody can only walk is in the suit. That's kind of wrong, because clearly he's walking, but clearly right here he has implants. So maybe that's, like, another part of the suit, like, you know, if shit goes real, he cocks the belt buckle, and douche the suit just comes up. I have no idea how the fuck that's going to happen, because he has, like, a minigun, but then again... If Black Panther can do it, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he's going to be like, yo, War Machine, let me look at that suit real quick. Let me make you a good, let me give you an upgrade. So yeah, we see here all of them kind of grouped together. I really want to see the interactions between Bruce Banner, Bruce Banner and all the other Avengers. Because he has, because Bruce Banner has no idea what the fuck went on. Like, he doesn't know about Civil War. He doesn't know about Wakanda. He doesn't know about, like, the... I totally forgot what the act is called, but, like, he doesn't know about the Wrath, doesn't know about the events of Civil War, he doesn't know about Wakanda, he doesn't know about anything. And 
basically, I love to see the reaction. Like, I was gone for, like, fucking five years, and all this shit went down. What the fuck, guy? Like, I'm gone for, like, five seconds, and all of a sudden, you, this shit gets real. The fuck? What WTF? Okay, and this is another one that... This is, like, another, like... Like, proof that maybe Vision and maybe everyone else knows that this is what Thanos is after. Like, they're after the Infinity Stones. Because see here, T'Challa's sister, most likely... Most likely sister, I'm not sure. If it, oh, yeah, it does, it does, okay. It shows T'Challa's sister, like, for a split second, it shows his sister. And he's kind of, like, examining... Oh, no, go no, no, back, 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 go on. He shows her kind of examining Vision. And maybe she's, like, examining the Infinity Stones and realizing its power and being like, well, this is what Thanos is after. Maybe that's what the big fight in Wakanda is really is. If Thanos coming to take the Infinity Stone, because right here Vision in Wakanda, and Vision you can see you can see right here Vision still has the Infinity Stone, so you know Thanos is coming for that. And maybe that's what that whole giant fight in Wakanda is. If Thanos is rushing in and being like, "Yo, Vision, I want that stone. I want that stone. Square up. Let's go." Oh, and the Guardians. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's... All right, here we actually finally see the Guardians of the Galaxy interacting with the Avengers, which is really interesting because the Avengers don't know about the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Guardians of the Galaxy don't know about the Avengers. So it's going to be like kind of a, like an awkward, what the, like, who the fuck are you guys? No, who the fuck are you guys? No, who the fuck are you guys? And we see here, like, you know, I love to see Chris Pratt and Robert Downey Jr. I love, like... I love, like, I love the interaction. Like, oh, right, I can just tell the interactions between Iron Man and Star-Lord. I can tell it's going to be amazing. I'm like, Star-Lord's like, okay, we're going to give you a plan. And Tony Stark is like, shut the fuck up. Well, shut the fuck up. It's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. <laughs> That's another reason why I love Star-Lord. He's like, okay, your plan sucks. Let me come up with a plan so at least decent. And Drax is like, yeah, what the fuck are you going to do? Like, yeah. His plan, it rocks. And then Tony Stark is like, eh, whatever. Wow. You see? You see? Wow. And here we get an official date. Like, we all know it, but here's just a reminder. If you don't know when Infinity was coming out, just a reminder, April 27th. Get your tickets early. Like, get them now. Like, go right now. After this video. No, no. Watch the video and go get your tickets now. Go do both. Now, 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 now. Yeah, see, once again, the giant fight, you know, giant Wakanda fight here, we see... We see War Machine, and we see Falcon, and we see, like, kind of, like, the Wakandan army kind of, like, going out in these, like, weird Fantastic Four-looking cars, which is kind of interesting, which is, like, which I'm pretty sure it's not, like, an Easter egg, but it's really, I really think it's an Easter egg, how, like, the Wakandan, like, transport cars kind of look like the classic, you know, Fantastic Four cars. Yeah, so, yeah, so they're all in the car, they're all, like, transporting. Nothing really special here, just we see that, you know, fucking Winter Soldier, which I heard he's going by a new name now. I heard that he's going by a new name now, White Wolf. White Wolf, I, I think they told you, told you that in Black Panther, I'm not sure, really. I'm not sure if it's in Black Panther, I didn't rewatch Black Panther to see if they tell you that he changed his name to White Wolf instead of Winter Soldier. I mean... I kind of like White Wolf, but Winter Soldier just sounds... Uh, it kind of it stuck with me. And Scarlet Witch was her, you know, rocking her new blonde hairdo. I don't know how I feel about that, but, you know, uh, I'll, see, I'll see how she wants it. And, of course, Hulkbuster makes an appearance. Oh. So we know that the Hulkbuster is not just for fighting the Hulk. It's for fighting any giant big baddies and clues Thanos. But I also heard a rumor that in this scene, Iron Man is an... Like, isn't, like, you know, operating the Hulkbuster. Like, Tony Stark isn't operating the Hulkbuster. I heard it's actually Bruce Banner operating the Hulkbuster. I heard that, like, I've, I've, I've heard it somewhere. I think the, the, the Lego playset that kind of confirms this. I'm not sure, I'm not, like, there's not, not a lot of information here that tells anything like that. No, like, nothing really tells anything here. But that's why I heard. And I really hope that's kind of an interesting factor. Because, like, imagine, like, Bruce Banner just being the fuck out of you with the Hulkbuster. And then Thanos like, you know what? Trying to get out my offense. Sorry, being the shit of the Hulkbuster. And then Bruce Banner's like, you know what? Haha! Jokes on you! Surprise, bitch! I'm the Hulk! Fucking bust out of that shit and start beating the fuck out, Thanos. The end is near. And here, once again, we see Thor, but still without his hammer. Like, it doesn't seem that. Oh no! Oh no! I actually went back! Oh no! Oh no! Go back! No! Oh, there we go. There we go.
There we go. Yeah, so you see, we all found uh, Thor really doesn't have a hammer now. I heard he gets a new hammer, and I've seen Lego and toy store and toy sets with his new hammer, Stormbringer. Um, or no, Stormbreaker. I think it's Stormbreaker or Stormbringer. I don't, leave it in the comment section, whichever one it is. Stormbreaker or Stormbringer. I'm not sure. I think it's Breaker. I think it's Breaker. But here, he's kind of using his thunder powers without his hammer. And maybe somewhere in the movie... Yeah, see, he doesn't have his hammer. He's using his regular hand to cast thunder. So I want to know how he gets the new hammer. Because the way, like, the way Thor looks, it kind of looks like old man Thor. A little bit. It kind of, like, gives that Odin look. The eye patch and the facial hair is kind of giving more of an Odin-like look. And Groot is like, you know, Groot's just said like, what the fuck? Like, he probably, like, Groot never seen this. This is, like, teen Groot. And Groot never seen something like this. He's just like, whoa. Yeah, see, once again, I think I, I think I just answered my own question here. The, maybe these giant circle things, maybe they're not, like, a teleporter. Maybe they're a spaceship. Okay, see here, it's flying around like a spaceship. <laughs> like it's flying like a, it's crashing in like a spaceship. I also could be wrong. Maybe they could have taken out the portal and the portal just crashing down. I might be totally wrong. I'm not sure because also these things look more like spacecraft. Because the other trailer, we saw them crashing down and opening up to reveal Thanos' army. So maybe this isn't like a spaceship. Maybe that's just a portal thing. And maybe these are transporter things. And these are like a portal thing. I'm not sure, but I want to take my bet and say the spaceship. When I'm done. Yeah, see here, once again, Thanos looking like a total badass. And here, I don't think this is Wakanda. I think this is more of a flashback. Yes, this is a flashback showing, you know, Thanos meeting Gamora and taking Gamora as his daughter. So we're going to see a little bit more of Thanos' past and Gamora's past and how they interact. Maybe we can see more of how tired, how much of a douchebag and tyrannical ruler Thanos was to Gamora and Nebula. I'm done. Half of him. See, then maybe this is Thanos taking over Gamora's whole planet. Maybe this is, like, her telling the Guardians and the Avengers how much of an asshole Thanos is. Like, he took over my planet and forced me to be his daughter. And she's basically telling, like, a, like you know, going to flashback and saying, this man, we have to take him down. He is, will, he will not stop at anything. He will get what he wants. So we have to stop him now. Humanity will still exist. <laughs> Yeah, so here Thanos is definitely fighting up against. Maybe this is where Thanos kind of breaks into the ship. Look, looks like Thanos is in a ship and he just breaks into a ship. That's where he meets like Team Group and Thor, and maybe he gets into a giant fight. And it clearly shows here Thanos is just giving no fucks. He's like Thor, <laughs> you ain't shit, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, there's another thing here is Loki giving Thanos an Infinity Stone. Now, I'm not sure if this is happening in the main story or this is like a flashback of what's happening because Loki has been a little bit, more, like, in the newer movies, he's been a little less of a villain and more of, like, an anti-hero and slash good guy. So maybe him giving the Infinity Stone to Thanos, maybe this is like a flashback of what happened. Or maybe it's happening in the movie. Maybe it's like Loki double-crosses everybody. How Thor is like, you know, looking at my brother now, you know, we're good, you know, we're, he's good and all that. Maybe Loki's like double crossing you, like, ha ha, yeah, you see, Thanos is a lot tougher and he got the, the Fanny Gauntlet, so I'm gonna side with the guy with the fucking power to snap his, to snap his fingers and kill everything inside. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that guy's side. Here we see, uh, yeah, here we see Captain America's new shield, which looks a lot, which reminds me a lot like Nomad. A lot of people are saying that this is no longer Captain America, this is Nomad. Which, I there really isn't that much evidence to support this, rather than, like, a little, like, nod or, like, an Easter egg thing that Chris Evans uh, said to a fan. I think a fan won his autograph, and he signed it as Nomad. Which I am not sure if that's, like, him trying to spoil, like, him spoiling the fact that he's no longer Captain America, he's Nomad, because in Civil War, he dropped the shield. And that kind of symbolizes his end of Captain, being Captain America, of he is no longer, he no longer wants to be, and no longer can be Captain America. So maybe he becomes somebody else, he becomes Nomad. We won't know until April 27th, but I really hope he does come <laughs> Here we see Wakanda! We see all, we see like the giant battle. See here the start of the giant battle, the Hulkbuster. We have Black, uh, 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 Black Panther on this side. We have White Wolf, Nomad slash Captain America, and uh, Scarlett Johansson, aka Black Widow. We don't see much of any of the other heroes, but we know they definitely, no, we're definitely gonna be here. We don't definitely Falcon, uh, uh, Falcon, War Machine, and a few others are definitely gonna be on this. Perfectly balanced. 
Yeah, and here seems like another giant fight with Thanos. See Doctor Str yeah, see Doctor Strange training platforms for Star Lord, him jumping around, him blasting fire. Boo, 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 boo. Scarlet Witch is like, oh! This whole thing should be. Yeah, and here maybe we see like a magic. We see Doctor Strange kind of like in torment. And yeah, see him, like, see this weird guy, which I don't know his name, but we know he's part, he's like, you know, he's, like, kind of like Thanos' right-hand army, like, right-hand goons. Like, so maybe he has magical powers, too. Because Doctor Strange, because these things, they might be magical. Then again, they, they could be, maybe he could have telepathic abilities, but the, the fact that they're poking him like this, and the fact that they're making an effect like that, makes me believe that these are magical, which is why Doctor Strange is kind of feeling the effects of it. And he's like, maybe this is why Doctor Strange is like the best guy to go up against this weird, no nose, like, you know, Voldemort wannabe looking asshole, because they're both magical beings. And maybe they both, like, you know, they both know how to counteract each other. So here, like, he's kind of getting the upper hand of Doctor Strange, but maybe this is how they get the time stone. Maybe they break in and they take the time stone of Doctor Strange, and this is, this is the scene of them taking the time stone. Yeah, so let's go back a little bit here. Let's see if we can get like a better shot of the army. Yeah, no, no yeah, nothing new. We'll just see, you know, Hulk Buster the same four we saw. Just nothing new. Oh, so yeah. So this is this is all ganging up on the Hulk Buster. Like, holy crap! We can already tell, like, just by this. Go away and tell the Hulk Buster has taken a lot of damage. It's taking a beating, and these guys just pouncing the fuck of it. Like, no, oh, take it down, take it down. Oh, oh. Maybe this is a scene where Hulk, you no. Know, if Bruce Banner is piloting the Hulkbuster armor, it is a scene where he's busted out. It's like, bro, I had enough of this shit. Ugh. I hope they remember you. Yes, yeah, so I'm here. Faust just beats the shit out of Iron Man. We can already tell because look at his armor. His armor has just been like torn, it's been obliterated. So maybe this is the fight where like Tony Stark is like, we just beats the living. He beats the T out of Tony Stark because his armor just all fucked up. Like, how did it get to this point? Like, this is how powerful Thanos is. He basically ripped piece by piece Iron Man's armor off. He's like, you know what? You have armor? Fuck your armor. Let me, like, give me that armor. Oh, just rip it, rip it me. Yeah, this basically shows Thanos' strength, shows how powerful he is. Now, if we go back a little bit, we see he doesn't have all the Infinity Stones. And he also doesn't have the Time Stone or a Vision's uh, Infinity Stone. So we know he didn't, so no, during the during this fight, he doesn't have the, like, see right here? He doesn't have the Time Stone, he doesn't have Vision Stone, and he doesn't have the other, he doesn't have the other stones, I totally forgot this, I can't think of my name. But we know now he has the Power Stone from the Guardians of the Galaxy 1. And this might be the Tesseract. I'm not sure, because I think the Tesseract is a, light, it's a lot lighter than this. I'm not sure, but I want to say it is Tesseract. So we know that during the scene, he definitely has the Tesseract, possibly, and the Power Stone. Which is maybe why he's overpowering Captain America. Because remember how strong Captain America is? He was able to hold a helicopter in its place. Helicopter trying to like, take off, he was able to hold it. Then again, we saw that he was kind of struggling with that. Like, he was like, like, rah, like, like, you know, he was using his, like, all his strength to do it. And here, we see how powerful he is. Like, he's pushing down on Captain America. And, like, Captain America, like, struggling to keep him up. And Thanos is like, oh, you're strong. Oh, yes. So maybe, this also maybe, like, another thing of trailer trickery. Where maybe he does have more Infinity Stones. But they just, like, edit out other trailers so that we don't blow it all away. But, yeah, we definitely see how powerful and strong Thanos is just by this, how the fact that he's overpowering Captain America with one hand. Captain America is holding both, holding it both with both of his hands. He's trying to hold up one of Thanos' hands with both of his hands. And he's, and he's struggling, and Thanos is just using one hand to push it down. That's how strong he is. Alright, we see the logo. Da, 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 da! The Avengers the Fairy Wars! Bow. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. <laughs> Isn't another like funny scene I love? It's probably when Do Doctor Strange first meets Peter Parker. And he's like, hi, I'm Peter. Oh, hi, I'm Doctor Strange. Oh, you think I have made-up names? Which means that they have superhero names. That they, not, that they all have superhero names. Which is something that we all should know. Like, if we didn't know they have superhero names, as long as real names, it'd be like, oh, uh, what, what? So here, yeah, we definitely see the Iron Spider suit. We definitely see him wearing the Iron Spider suit. So we know definitely, definitely... 
late, like he's like it seems like in the first part where you see him, he kind of doesn't have the Iron Spider suit, which is understandable because like he walks in the like who like carries an Iron Spider suit just walk on the bus. So maybe now once he realizes, hey, the Ghost of Iron Man is like, hey, something's going on, I need the Iron Spider suit. He uses that for now on. I'm Spider Man. I'm Spider. -Man. Oh look at that! Oh, oh Spider Man! Oh yes. So there it is, guys, the new Infinity War trailer, all broken down into itty bitty pieces. Let me know if I missed anything, and let me know of your, like, your theories, or your, like, what you want to happen in Infinity War. Like, what do you think is going to happen in Infinity War? Who do you think is going to die? Like, do you, like, I know, you already know, Thanos is going to be kicking ass, and you're going to be taking names, and people are going to die violently. Who do you think is going to die? I personally think Vision is definitely on the table. Um, Iron Man, Captain America slash Nomad, Thor, like, they're on the table because the actor's contract ends after Infinity War. So I don't know if they're, like, freaking gonna continue the contract or this is gonna be the end of Iron Man and Captain America. Like, are they gonna do, like, what X-Men was doing where they have, like, a kind of, like, a time loop or, like, like you know, like, a giant, like, time, like, fucking reverso, like, a fuck up the timelines and all that? I really hope they don't do that because that's really fucking confusing. That's really confusing. The X-Men series, the Fox's X-Men series, is really fucking confusing because of, solely because of that. The whole time skip, time jump, time loop, it's like, you can't, you can't keep track of what the fuck is going on. Like, wait, the fuck, the Nani? Like, what? So let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think is going to happen in Infinity War? And if they're going to release another trailer before the movie comes out, I'm definitely going to be breaking that shit down. And when the movie comes out on April 27th, I'm definitely going to be doing a giant breakdown of the entire movie. So, stay tuned for that shit. Get ready, guys. Oh, I got the Marvel Fever. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and that cool little bell thing on the side so you always can stay updated on all the stuff Marvel that's happening in my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment on what you think is going to happen in Infinity War. Peace out, everyone. Bye-bye.